Hey, good evening. We're back at the research and development bench here. Uh, we're trying to figure out our top carburetor plate. And I kind of wanted to put three of these two barrels on it, uh, these motocrafts, but there simply was not room. That motor, the way that thing's made, it takes up almost as much room as a four barrel. And now we're looking at possibly doing Rochester. I got room for three Rochesters on it. And that carburetor is off of a uh, 67 C30. Chevy one ton with uh, it would add a 250 cubic inch in line six. And Buddy Danny thinks he's got two more of these. All right, I went through this one, and they you can fit three of them on there real nice. And kind of got a mock-up adapter plate built here this evening. Using our form ply again. One drawback. Uh, that center carb, of course you got that webbing in there on that blower, and I'm not going to mess with that webbing, and I can eat that, I can chew that hole out a little bit more, I'm not going to worry too much about it, make sure these other two carburetors are going to work, and I just use a, just use a carriage bolt here, and just recess everything. And there you got your mount bolts where you bolt down to your blower housing. Yeah, I can I can hog this thing out more with the die grinder. I kind of hate to mess with any of these. Uh, Detroit's got them in there for a reason. The tolerances are real tight. Some people take these out. I, I leave them in. Uh, that's my thoughts on it for what little that's worth. That's where we're at. That's what we're thinking. Been nice if those three two barrels would have went on there. Just, there wasn't room. Simply wasn't room. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that single barrel flows. But you know, I remember running it around. We had a single barrel on our C62 with a 292 in it, and that thing ran great. Pulled really good on low RPM, and this is we're going on 351 here. If we got three of them, well, it'll be an experiment. We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> Talk to you later, guys.